you guys it looks like we might already have some major quality issues with the air jordan 11 gratitude yeah yeah he got kicks but like swish i don't miss don't do bricks he got kicks the kid is sick team with raw rock because he got hits what is up YouTube? I'm He Got Kicks. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell that we get all the notifications every time I drop on these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram at the real He Got Kicks and of course the hat page Perfect Brim and TikTok He Got Kicks 95. You guys, today's video is sponsored by Soul Premise Sneaker Travel Bags. This one right here is actually the sneaker duffel. I use this whenever I'm going to do on feeds or anything like that because it's a lot of stuff I can fit in here if we're being honest. It fits up to four pairs of sneakers, but you can also take out the sneakers, put clothing, do whatever you need in there. Put miscellaneous stuff in here so it's very, very, very useful for me whenever I do my on feet because I can put different outfits if I want. I can put my tripods. I can put uh, so many things in here and it's so very easy to assemble. Right now, because of Vlogmas, right now all my discount code on every single bag is 50 percent off so be sure again use my discount code he got kicks saves you 50 percent off of every bag on the website for vlogmas man super dope of them to do that for you guys and of course man these bags right here are very good gifts for sneaker heads this holiday season so again if you guys are looking to travel of course man only travel in style best way to travel is with soul premise but you guys I was looking and I've had some DMs and I've had some people send me some pictures of what their Gratitude 11s look like after only a very few wears. That is actually pretty alarming. I'm gonna be honest with you. And honestly, after seeing the pictures and kind of feeling on the patent leather of this shoe, I can see it actually happening. Of course, I'm going to throw up the pictures right now of one of the subscribers actually sent to me. And I think they actually posted these on Twitter as well. Uh, but this right here is kind of crazy. I kind of feel like Nike kind of went the cheap route on this patent leather. And it, they said that they had only worn these three times and hadn't done like anything like super like crazy in them or anything like that. And hadn't played ball, nothing. So it was actually kind of crazy. Like as you can see, and I kind of figured after kind of feeling the patent leather, like it isn't like the best patent leather if I'm being honest, but the creasing on this is actually really bad after only a couple of wears. As you guys can see, of course, it looks like he's got like scuff marks on it. He's got, looks like paint chipping, creasing all on the toe box. And honestly, it kind of looks like if you can zoom in a little bit, looks like almost a little bit of sole separation already after only three wears and the creasing is just crazy and it looks like paint chipping and everything after literally three wears and i i just couldn't believe it because 230 dollars is what we're paying for this sneaker at retail before taxes after taxes if you have my tax then it's going to be around 250 dollars for 250 dollars we should be able to wear this sneaker and creasing okay i get it but paint chipping look like soul separation like anything like that honestly that is just uncalled for that is insane we should not have to deal with that at all again maybe maybe his is like that just one outlier that he's just unlucky he just got a bad pair that's very very you know possible if we're being honest like that is a that's a good possibility you know it happens all the time some people get lemons in cars and they're just a bad car maybe they just got a lemon in a pair of sneakers maybe but i have had a couple people tell me hey the creasing on these is bad like i've worn them a few times and the creasing on the toe box is really bad and again maybe it's depending on just how some people walk if you are you know heavy footed stuff like that maybe that can actually put a lot into it but if i'm being honest i don't know if after two three wears a sneaker should look that bad i'm gonna be honest i don't think it should especially for 250 dollars like it should look good for a little while like i understand like if you wear it every single day and it's just like your go-to sneaker like my one of my go-to's is the black cement threes i need another pair of them 
because they don't look the greatest. I mean, they still look okay, but I wear them a lot. And it's just one of those ones that I kind of need another pair. So that tells me right there that it, it wasn't even used that bad. Like it wasn't even worn that much. So this right here, I just don't think for $250, that we should be have to you know deal with really bad creasing we should not have to deal with you know paint chipping anything like that and i mean i even have paint on the white like if y'all can see it on my pair like i have paint yeah y'all can see it right there right over here i have paint on the white on the midsole like that's crazy and i can tell though like if you guys really like look at the patent leather like i can actually kind of tell that yeah we might have some issues with this after a few wears and at honestly that sucks if i'm going to be honest with you like that actually really really sucks like i wish that that was not the case but maybe that's maybe that's just the one of a million maybe he just got super unlucky but again like i said i've had a couple people tell me that hey, they've worn theirs two three times one time and it has creased up on them already and again i just the patent leather just feels kind of cheap if i'm going to be honest like kind of feeling on it now like it does feel kind of cheap so i hope for his case that and our i hope for our case that he was just the unlucky one unfortunately i really really hope that maybe that's the case i don't know i just cannot think of any way that i can justify paying 250 and it looks like that after only three wears like i just don't think that's good uh but again hey let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have worn your gratitude 11s already a couple times let me know if you have any kind of like creasing if you have anything that kind of looks like this let me know and if you can man send me a dm on instagram hey you already know real he got kicks hey send me a dm i kind of want to see exactly you know if maybe he's just a one-off maybe or if you know he really if it's like that out there if it's that bad i'm kind of curious exactly what it might be because hey if it's like that i don't know if i'm gonna wear mine that much like i might wear it some but i ain't gonna wear it that much so let me know in the comment section down below i am super super curious exactly how this might go um because <laughs> again i just don't think it's fair for us to pay 250 and this is the kind of results that we get after only a couple wears. So you guys, I'm super curious, man. Again, man, DM me. Let me know in the comment section down below what your kind of experience has been. If you've already worn your pair a few times, I am super curious after seeing this. And again, man, hey, for 250, I, did, I expect much better quality out of this, but I guess maybe that's just what we have to deal with. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have had any problems or any issues at all, man. Of course, I don't want to make a super long video or anything about it. Just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. And hey, just let me know. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. As always, man, tell somebody you love them like I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.